how to use Google My Explored tutorial and review. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now we all can see how Nano Banana has taken the world by a storm with its amazing image generation capabilities. But Google has now announced Mixboard. This is a new launch in Google Labs that is going to help you in exploring expanding and refining your ideas. No longer do you have to search for hours on end on Pinterest. Instead, Mixboard is a new alternative. So let's take a look at how you can get started. To get started with Mixboard, simply head on over into labs.google.com. Then click on get started. And once you do, you're just going to proceed. And if Mixboard is not available in your region, you can always use an alternative VPN for your Mixboard requests. And all you need to use Mixboard is your Google account. If you've signed up on your Google account in your browser, it's automatically going to lead you to Mixboard. So you guys can see I've logged on to my Google account on Mixboard. So that's why it has just used this account as my default. Now, once you do that, you can get started by clicking on new project over here. And once you click on new project, it's going to be untitled. This is just going to be my sample project. Now you can explore some of your ideas. You guys can see that they have some sample ideas, which are going to be provided that you can run and see how Mixboard actually functions. It is going to take your prompt and it's going to gather all the information that it can find. I asked it to plan a fall party and it's going to plan my party for me. It's giving me ideas for the decor. It's giving me a complete visualization of how I can plan my party. Now, this is just one example. I'm going to get started with a new project. Let's say I'm going to be, I want to create a scrapbook about flowers. Show me different types of flowers with their names. Inspo for animals that interact with those flowers. And now it's going to analyze my prompt and give me a result based upon the prompt that I've provided. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds and it's making the plan. It's organizing all the information. And let's take a look at what it has created for us for this flower scrapbook inspiration. So right now, what I'm going to do is that I can see there are different types of flowers over here. Now you guys can see if I zoom in hybrid tea rose, then we have these hydrangeas, we have English lavenders. Now I want to go into, let's say this particular photo. Now I can do a regenerate image. I can do more like this. I can do remove background. I can duplicate this and I can download this as well. Let's say I want to see more like this rose over here, which is a hybrid tea rose. And I'm asking it to regenerate this image. And if you want to change anything within an image, you can ask it to do so as well. Now, these are just some of the basic capabilities. You guys can see that you can even do a bit more of a complicated project where you're combining multiple different elements together. You can ask it for inspiration and ask it to combine the patterns together for a new look on the items as well. So if I zoom out over here into 50%, you guys will see I'm going to go into blocks over here and you guys can see that it replaced the pattern as well. Now let's do this with some of our own project. So I wanted to tell me about different embroidery, embroidery techniques, techniques and styles. Once it does that, I'm going to combine those and then I'm going to add them to maybe a clothing item that I'm making, a garment. I may want to see them on a specific style of garment. So right now I'm just going to be waiting. We're just going to proceed. And you guys can see it is showing me multiple different styles of embroidery. Now let's say I really like this particular style and I'm going to click on more like this. And then it's going to provide me with more images like this. So now that I have these styles of embroidery that I like, I'm going to remove some of the styles that I don't like simply by clicking on those and then removing them just like so. And let's say I really like this particular style. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to click on add text and then we're going to add embroidery. I'm just going to label some of the items. And then let's say I want to take this embroidery and then I want to add this embroidery in a full pink color to a simple t-shirt. 
And now it's going to basically create a brand new image and it's going to use Nano Banana to create these new images for you. So not only do you have the ability to scour the internet, but you're also creating with the internet as well. So now you can see it has created a fully pink version of the same embroidery and put it on a t-shirt and this is what it would look like. Now if I want, I can proceed with further edits and further customizations. Now if I want, I can click on add text and I can add, you know, text block to label all of my items that I'm creating and I can just click on download to download all of the items that we are creating as well. You can zoom in and zoom out to further view the details. Now this is just, uh, this is just, you know, the basics of Mixport. Mixport is capable of combining so many different elements together, especially visual elements. So I want to create bridal outfit inspiration now it's going to take different bridal styles and then combine them and show them to me then i can ask it to show me more like the dresses that i want or like that i'm building for a client maybe if you have clients that are getting haircuts from you hair dyes from you or any particular service you can build a quick mix board for them when they view that mix board they're going to tell you what type of thing that they like the most and then you can ask it to give you more like that then it's going to give you multiple different images for inspiration and as it gives you more images for inspiration you are going to get more ideas and you can show them to your client to your prospective client that you're giving your services to so you guys can see now I've, I've asked it to give me more images like this one because this is super detailed and now it's giving me more detailed images as well and just like so you can get started with using mixboard it's a new and experimental tool that can help you in visualizing ideas and concepts a bit easier that is going to help you in making quick style decisions quick mood boards and it's going to simplify a lot of your research that you would normally have to do when you're trying to build a mood board for any plan project or any event so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video